Okay, so here is my peacock. Um, what I normally do is I white out the the, the outline um, and I put the, I fill it in with the white. I normally use gesso, but you can use any kind of white that you like. Um, and it helps when you're putting down the color um, and stuff. So I'm starting out with a very light blue, like Korean blue, um, just to put some value down. Um, but you can kind of see how it, it sits on there really well because I painted white. Um, and I'll, I'll do this first and then I will build it up with uh, darker blues and stuff and, and give some value to uh, the figure. Um, so just remember it's like the peacock kind of his body gets bigger down here because of all those feathers he carries um, and it's just like you just kind of work it in um, I'm going to completely cover him even though we're gonna go back in with his, the white and the black for his eye um, and the markings around his face and stuff um, and the little areas you see here that's for the uh, the little feather things uh, on his back where um, all his feathers come out from so kind of uh, and then up here where he's got his crown I'm just gonna put in just dab I mean I'm, I just dab a little bit of color in there um, and then so when I go back in with the blue it, it helps it to have something that that it's not just white and then you and uh, so the final color I always use is ultramarine blue um, that's just my, my personal preference um, and it's just so I use some gesso and I think next time I probably won't do that I'll probably use I'll water it down a bit because it's kind of it got a little thick um, and uh, so I remember so I've done him like this but I'm gonna have him where his head comes down a little um, and then I'll slowly build up some other values and stuff so I want to kind of come in here with the dark um, and for his neck and around here kind of and you just you know kind of like bring it down kind of shows you know a little bit of shadow and then that's where his neck is um, you can you know, go down here um, with this as well um, so it's like create you can decide where you want to create your light and darks um, I am just doing this because of the the angle I have him at um, and so, and then what I'll do, I will add some black to my blues, um, and that way uh, I can kind of build it up, if I can get my black out. Um, and then, you know, you just kind of, I use wax paper as a palette. But, and that's because that's what I, I like to use um, and it's uh, it's easier for me um, okay now you kind of want to give some bring some value down to show that he is round that he's not just some flat image um, and I'm gonna bring in kind of his eye here 
Um, I remember he, it's like underneath, like there, and then above. And then of course, don't forget, he has a little bit across his nose. Um, And I think I'm going to come in with a little black underneath the, the neck there as well. Uh, just because it is pretty dark, you know. And we want to, want to show that. And so it's, it's when we come in afterwards and we put the white on there. That's when it really shows up. Um, you know, it's, it's like, those are your last things that you do and stuff. You want to get everything else down. I mean, if this was a painting, if I was doing a painting, I'd want to do the background first. Um, because with most paintings, it's like, if you get that background in, um, so this is this uh, this blue I'm putting on right now is it is an ultramarine, but it's one I've I've watered down. It's one I use for some of my pores, and that's another thing. It's like if you decide to use a different kind of blue in the feathers and stuff, you might want to think about using that blue um, as you fill in his body, because uh, that works. You know, so then it gives you some kind of. Uh, relation and stuff so just kind of I am a painter that layers that's how I paint um, and remember he's kind of got those feathers on his head and I'll fill in a little bit down here and then of course up here and you, you're just like It just, um, right now he doesn't look like he has much because there's no white up there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a little bit of white around his face and um, his beak. Um, okay. So let's give him a little bit of white. My white's a bit runny here, though, but, yeah. And his back feathers, I'm gonna uh, uh, put down green first. So when you look at peacocks, um, especially those feathers that are not developed, they're kind of green and they have yellow and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, and so I'll put down some green first uh, on the background. Um, and this is a similar green as what I put in when I did the paw. Um, oh, just... Kind of there, and then we got some yellow that goes in there as well. Well, I suppose it's gold, really. 
but I'm going to put in yellow. Um, and, and then afterwards I have a, it's like a brown, uh, kind of like um, more uh, okra, yellow okra is kind of, I, so I just do little dabs, kind of uh, accentuate the yellow and stuff and it's like if you wanted to be really detailed you could um, one of my first uh, painting styles I did was impressionism so I kind of that stayed with me um, and I will I'll just go in and I do dabbing you know kind of like um, my favorite artist is Monet, um, and I love Van Gogh too, and so I'll do that, um, and, uh, there we go, let me move it a bit closer, um, and then I have this okra mixed up, I use it for various other things. And you just kind of, you know, it just doesn't have to be detail, detail. Like, I could, if this was bigger, I probably would. I probably would get lost in the detail. And uh, that's what can happen to us sometimes is when we do big paintings, we think we have to be much more detailed. Um, and... And then what I'll probably do later on is I'll go in and I'll add green a little bit more to accentuate the roundness there. Um, the idea for doing this is to sh just to show you how to paint the peacock. And then you can go in and, and, and you can do things that um, you want to do. Um, how you want to paint him um, and stuff. This is just kind of like um, just so you can kind of get a rough idea of how he looks and stuff and and you can create areas of value to show you know his underside and stuff um And I'm going to smooth that in, kind of give it a little bit more value than it has. And the last thing I'll, I'll probably do will be um, my ultramarine, which I moved. Okay. So these are these are my these are from leftover from when I was in school and I was doing painting. I got these from Cheek Joe's, which is an online place, and um, and uh, because I paint paint people a lot, I always have ultramarine um, for mix in to make my uh, my colors and stuff. So. Um, so you can see how the ultramarine blue is very vibrant. It's a very vibrant blue, and I, I really like it. Um, and uh, it's kind of... Uh, let me see. How do I want to do this? Um, I want to leave some here, some light. So, because, you know... Not everything here would be this dark and stuff. Um, and you can go back in and put more light in there. Um, but I need to work on up here now. Um, I need to go in with some white. Uh, Once I get the white down, um, 
then I'll go back in with the black. It's, it's, it, that's kind of, um, white is really hard to do over. So, so just kind of like this and just getting it in and then dabbing it down a little, kind of like that. Um, and then for these parts, I just go in like that, just, and um, I don't know where my thinner brushes are, otherwise I'd be using a thinner brush up here, um, but that works for me. And uh, then, okay, we got a, we got his beak underneath here, I want to bring it out more, I kind of, I'm giving him a, a very big nose. I'll have to go in there. Um, not happy with that. And so, what I do is I'll just go in with my brush and go like this. And it takes the paint off. And you can go back in and so. So, I'm used to holding my paintings, so doing it on the easel like this is really hard for me. Um, especially with the camera in front, you know, having to position the camera so that um, you get to see what it is I'm doing. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I think I like that better. Um, and then I'm going to go in there with a little black over his nose uh, where this part comes down like this and then across there. And then just a slight line underneath to show the separation. And then here, I come in here like this, give him his round eye. And then have it where it goes back. And remember, it's, he, his head is not flat. <laughs> So you kind of bring it around, so it's like going around the back of his head. Um, and just kind of and I'm going to come in with a bit of blue above there because I kind of dab it in a little. A little dark and then let's see um, yeah I think I need some more white up there Kind of there, and then kind of hmm. Lost the white in his beak. Well, I can always tell myself there. Well, the beaks aren't completely white, um, so you can always tell yourself things like that. You know, it's like um, that you want to kind of there and a little bit. There. And then, of course, even though most pictures you see of peacocks, you don't actually see the pupil and stuff. Yeah. Um, there is a little bit of light 
that will always shine off of uh, eyes and stuff. Um, and so you just wanna, uh, I just wanna. Probably what I'll end up doing with this is I'll probably, um, <clears throat> I'll probably go back in and um, add some extra things after I finish this. Um, and because uh, that's how I do things. Um, trouble with painting is you you always think, oh, it's not quite finished. It's never quite finished. Um, and you always want to go back in and, and do extra things to it. Um, so because I did my line so thick there, I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of black and my thinner paintbrush um, to kind of bring them down a bit. And then kind of put a little bit of black underneath um, because, you know, it's all about the light, you know, where the light falls and stuff. And then I'm going to go back in with the ultramarine blue. And this I haven't watered down at all. Uh, this, this is just straight from the tube. Um, just purely because I think it makes a... A pretty awesome blue and especially when it dries and stuff kind of um, and then on the top I will t uh, take some lighter color um, like the the Carillion blue that I use first and I'll just put some little bits of lighter you know so to show some light above um, and because we've got these here, oops, <laughs> whoops, <laughs> oopsie daisy, um, and we'll just kind of dab him in a little bit of light up there, and I think that kind of adds to it, and I think I might do a little bit extra Carillion Boo down here to show some lightness uh, across the middle. Yeah, um, and I think I did his neck too long. <laughs> um, so how I'm going to fix that, because I did his neck long and his body is right here, so I think I need to fill out a bit here. Um, it's, you know, and this is where you, you fix things. You, you look at something, you think, oh, that doesn't quite look right. And this is where you go in and stuff. And I, I think that kind of fills it out a little bit because his body will come out a little bit here where those extra feathers are. So it fills out there and then comes in here. So, I fiddle around with paintings constantly until I figure, okay, that's it, I'm done. You know, the thing is with painting is you go back in and you think, oh no, I'm not quite done. And uh, then you'll go back in and you do a bit more and stuff. Um, I think I need to, I want to do a little tiny dab for his eye. So it kind of makes it stand out a little bit. Um, okay, and then I don't come back in. And 
So you make it kind of like a, a bit grey, and then it, it helps it to, to, for the eye to stand out a little bit. So you'll mix in, um, you, can, you can mix in whatever you want. Um, I like to kind of go back in and kind of give it a little bit more value and stuff. Um, so, and yeah. So I'm probably probably going to go back in here and stuff um, and fix the feathers a little bit on the top there and uh, his beak. Not happy with his beak. His beak needs to is like needs to be a bit wider um, and I think it's kind of the right size, but you know it just is like. You just want to kind of go in, make it a little bit more pointy, because the peacock's beak is more pointy than that. Um, and then because I did that, see I've got his beak going up slightly, I need to kind of, uh, I want to go in here and stuff, yeah, kind of like But I can tell you I'm not happy with his beak, so I'm going to have to fix that a bit later on. But you kind of get the idea that this is how you would paint your peacock and stuff. Um, down the bottom here where his feathers are, um, I probably will outline um, a little bit of black and green. Um, kind of to make it stand out from the rest, kind of like something like that um, and like I said see how I dab and then just kind of go in there a little bit and the same on this side kind of you know because the feathers are kind of roundish um, just so it makes it stand out a little bit more um, and And then uh, probably later on what I'll probably do is I'll probably go in and add a little bit more yellow and stuff. Um, and if you want, you can always do some lines going up to the feathers and stuff. I choose not to do that. I choose to keep it kind of the way it is. Um, and um, just... Uh, Kind of, it's not defined, um, and that's how I like to do it. And uh, so, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I hope you kind of get the idea of how you want to paint your peacock. Um, and if you have any questions um, or there's anything else you want to see from me, uh, so just leave me a comment and um, please subscribe to me. Thank you very much for watching.